People will say, you know, jig experts, jig anglers, that's when you trim that skirt that it's going to allow the lures to flare more. Now, when I trim a jig skirt, I like to pull the strands tight and then snip it right at the bend of the hook. So I did that. I've got one jig here trimmed, one that is not trimmed. And then I started to film these in a variety of situations. And as you can imagine, when I just hang these jigs here suspended, the skirt that is trimmed, there is a lot more flair to it. As a matter of fact, the strands come up and over the head of the jig as opposed to the one that is not trimmed the strands are all pretty much from the jig head and straight down so that is very clear to see that clearly makes a difference but when we take a look at the jig now on the bottom whether we're retrieving it or just letting it sit there here's where things get to be a little more subtle and you can make up your mind as an angler one when that jig stops okay whether it's because we were dragging it and stops or it's falling vertically and it stops for the next second or two on the jig with the trimmed strands they do flare out and up and over the jig head okay the the jig that is not trimmed does not do that as defined or pronounced now is that enough of a difference a subtle difference to get you more bites is it going to be something that movement that happens after that jig stops to you know get that bass to commit I don't know i haven't made up my mind on that one yet but then if you take that jig and let's say it gets around some debris some muck some leaves some sticks something like that then really you can't notice much of a difference because that debris is holding those strands in maybe an odd position or whatever so really the only time when i was filming here that it seems to make a noticeable difference is if that jig is free of a mucky bottom or a bottom composition that is going to inhibit the strand so if you have a hard bottom composition you know maybe some rock or sand you know fish in a river where it's like just a lot of shells and stuff like that okay then those strands definitely they're going to flare out and add some more lifelike movement uh, some other things to consider is when we do trim the strands and this is why i like to trim it is it makes a more comp packed jig so you can see you know the jig trailer a little bit better it's still got some bulk to it you know got that width to it and it looks like a decent meal but it's a little more compact i guess you could say more like a finesse type of a jig so that's the big reason that i like to trim the strands on my jig is just how it looks and by far in a way the most important thing is if you trim the skirt or if you don't trim the skirt what do you have the most confidence in? We know as bass anglers that we get so confident in certain lures and presentations. And if you like to trim that jig skirt and you get bites on it, it works for you. I would say that's what you need to do. If you've always fished a jig and never really trimmed it and it works great for you, well, that's what I would do. But I definitely wanted to show you some actual footage here to try to answer these questions for yourself and go ahead and let me know what you prefer down in the comments below. And if you would like to watch a video that talks about the key to fishing isolated cover, at least in my opinion, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.